Welcome to Strategy Saturday. I'm Charles Crillo, and today we're going to be discussing IRR versus ARR. Have you always wanted to invest in real estate, but didn't have the time, didn't know where to find the deals, couldn't get the funding, and didn't want tenants calling you? Since 2006, I've been buying income-producing properties in great locations that provide us with consistent passive income while we wait for appreciation in the future and take advantage of tax laws while we're waiting. And unlike your financial advisor, we invest alongside our investors in every property we purchase. Check out investwithharborside.com. If you like the idea of investing in real estate, if you like the idea of passive income, partner with us at investwithharborside.com. That's investwithharborside.com. When reviewing different investment opportunities, you may come across the terms internal rate of return, IRR, or the accounting rate of return, ARR. Now, ARR also stands for annual recurring revenue, used mainly with companies that sell subscriptions. But when used in terms of real estate, it is the accounting rate of return. So let's break down each term. Internal rate of return is a metric utilized to estimate potential investments profitability. IRR is a more complex formula since it considers the time value of money. It reflects the present value of future cash flows that will be generated by an investment, where the value of a dollar today is worth more than the value of a dollar tomorrow since it can be invested. For example, two projects might have the same outcome of doubling the investor's investment after five years. Still, Project A pays back most of the initial investment in year two, while Project B doesn't make any substantial distributions until year four. Project A will have a higher IRR since the investor receives more of their capital faster. Now, the IRR is utilized mainly for capital budgeting projects, helping managers compare and understand the potential annual rates of return over time of different projects and assets. For example, if you have cash available for investing, which investment would be more profitable? Buying property A, buying property B, or to be best used to renovate your current property and raise rents. Now, the accounting rate of return is a metric that shows the percentage rate of return expected on an investment compared to the cost. The ARR is simply calculated by dividing the average annual profit by the initial investment. Now, the main drawback with the accounting rate of return is that it ignores the time value of money, stating that the income in future years has the same value as income during the current year. ARR is quick to calculate, calculate, making comparing different projects easier. Now, the main difference is that the accounting rate of return does not consider the time value of money. Said differently, the ARR does not change if assets have uneven revenue streams. An investment with earlier revenues will have a higher IRR than one that returns revenue in later years. The ARR would be the same between both investments if the total return is the same. However, when investing, cash flow timing is very important. Investments that generate revenue sooner than later are considered less risky than ones waiting several years for revenue. The accounting rate of return offers an easy to calculate snapshot of the profitability of a potential project. So I recommend comparing the internal rate of return between different projects before seriously considering the investment. So I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to rate, review, subscribe, submit comments and potential show topics at globalinvestorspodcast.com. If you're interested in actively investing in real estate, please check out our courses and mentoring programs at syndicationsuperstars.com. That is syndicationsuperstars.com. Look forward to two more episodes next week. See you then. Nothing in this episode should be considered specific, personal, or professional advice. Any investment opportunities mentioned on this podcast are limited to accredited investors. Any investments will only be made with proper disclosure, subscription documentation, and are subject to all applicable laws. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for individualized advice. Opinions of guests are their own. Information is not guaranteed. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss. The host is operating on behalf of Syndication Superstars, LLC, exclusively.